Samsung Galaxy Tab A11 is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Not only we get a very nice display on this tablet, also top line metal build quality, cameras, even 4G SIM card slot. But best of all, also tons of absolutely awesome features. First on this tablet, we are getting the new Samsung's One UI 7, which looks absolutely, absolutely awesome. By the way, also, we have a completely new change. Basically, so you see, if I swipe from my right side, I can actually pull up my quick settings here, and also quick things that I can launch. And if I swipe from the left side, I can actually launch my notifications. But if you actually prefer the old view, we can actually get it back quite easily. So simply swipe from our right side, pull up this panel, and you see you have this tiny pencil thing. Click on the pencil thing, click panel settings, and simply click together. Okay, and if you check now, so you can also pull from pretty much any uh, point of your screen down. So you see you actually have the old style back where you have the panel and the notifications together. Also, we're getting actually quite a lot of new widgets as well. So if you want to add maybe a new widget on your home screen, simply press and hold on your screen, click widgets. And as you see, we actually have very decent new widgets here, for example. If you want to add something, so simply click on it, click again, add. It will drag you where you want, and then simply drag it, okay? For example, over here. Also, we can easily resize these widgets as well, just as you want. Also, we can very easily multitask on this tablet as well. For example, if you open, for example, maybe a website, and you want to actually open something else at the same time, we can actually do that quite easily. So we are simply going to click these three lines to open all our background apps. And then we are simply going to click on the icon of the app. Uh, yeah, basically, which we want, for example, on this side. So let's click, for example, on this Chrome browsers icon over here and click open and split screen view. And then, for example, you can select another tab you have in the background or app, or also select from one of the apps in your, yeah, all app library. For example, let's select the calculator. So you see, for example, on this side of the screen, we can watch some YouTube video, while at the same time do something else on our tablet as well. Also, you can very easily resize this as well. So you see, we have these three dots in the middle. So we are simply going to click them and simply drag like this. So you see, we can make either of the side larger or smaller, so just as you need. And if you want to close either of these things, so again, simply drag these three dots till the end, and you see you have yeah, left only the main app open. And if you're wondering if you can connect the mouse or a keyboard to your tablet, I have some great news for you. First, if you have a wired mouse or a keyboard, you most likely will need adapter like this. So this is called OTG adapter. They literally cost like maybe one or two dollars. So you see, it converts regular USB to Type-C. Then, for example, I see I can plug this in my uh, tablet inside and then you will simply plug in your keyboard here. And it will work automatically, so you do not have to set up anything else. But also we can obviously also pair Bluetooth uh, keyboard or mouse as well to this tablet very easily. Uh, to, to do that, first I'm going to actually place my keyboard in a pairing mode. So find how to do that on your device. Then we are going to go in our Bluetooth settings. So simply swipe down and click and hold on your Bluetooth. And as you see it automatically found it. I'm going to click, yep, allow this pairing request and it should be paired. Yep, absolutely awesome. So then for example, if I go in my notes here, I can, yeah, type very easily now. Also in the same way, we can also connect, for example, external controllers as well. So if you are planning to game on this tablet, we can also, yeah, do that, which is absolutely awesome. Also, if you're wondering if this tablet supports S Pen, so first inside the box, we actually do not get any styles or S Pen actually when we purchase this tablet. Also, for example, if I take the S Pen from my Samsung Ultra phone, which has a S Pen, if I actually try to draw 
on this tablet so you see also nothing happens unfortunately this tablet actually doesn't support s pen however you can actually still quite easily draw on this tablet if you get a simple style like this uh, with a rubber tip like this so again i literally paid like one dollar for this and as you see with the styles actually i can very easily draw something here so i'm obviously an excellent drawer here Yeah, as you see, it actually works absolutely great. Yep, <laughs> absolutely beautiful. So yeah, again, simply look for a stylus with a rubber tip like this. These actually work very good on this tablet. Also, if you're wondering if this tablet also gets some AI features, just like the more expensive Samsung S series tablets, then actually, yep. Uh, so for example, if I press and hold basically this middle button, so the home button, on my screen, I can launch my Gemini here and also like ask it some things. Also, the Gemini is even able to look through your camera on your tablet as well and explain to you things that it can also see through the camera. So if you want to launch it, so again, simply press and hold this. And basically you have to press basically that button on the side. And also uh, without even access to the camera, you can also interact with it for example, let's try it. Hey, uh, can you tell me any stupid joke about Samsung tablets? Why did the Samsung tablet break up with the charger? Because it felt it wasn't getting enough power in the relationship. Okay. So also, yep, we can actually use the camera. So simply we are going to click this button and then we can ask some things through the camera. Hey, do you know what is this flower here? That's a beautiful artificial lotus flower. Did you have any questions about it? Okay, how did you actually know that it was fake, not real? Based on the video, the flower appears to be artificial. The color of the flower and the shape of the petals look very uniform, and the base looks like plastic. <laughs> so you see, actually, yeah, it's incredibly smart indeed. By the way, also we can quickly launch the assistant as well using our voice as well and ask it to do some things. But by default, actually, this is not enabled. If you want to enable it, uh, so we can simply go in our apps list, click on the Google folder here and click on the Google app. Okay, and then you had basically click on your profile icon here on the top and uh, settings here and Google Assistant. So you can enable the Hey Google. So voice match. And we should enable it over here. And also we will have to train it a bit as well to recognize our voice. So, hey Google, help me write a thank you note. Hey Google, what's the weather tomorrow? Okay Google, set the timer for five minutes. So you see, we had to basically train this model to our voice so we can actually recognize us. And then at any time really, you can simply say, hey Google, set the timer for five minutes. I have set a timer for five minutes. It will go off at 4.47 p.m. So you see, how cool. Also another new feature on this tablet is this no bar essentially. So if you have something running in the background, maybe a timer or maybe like map navigation or any music basically, then without even unlocking your phone really, you have basically the stuff that's uh, running in the background basically appearing here. And you can also even like quickly interact with the stuff. So without even unlocking your phone really. So yeah, absolutely awesome. Uh, also, for example, if you uh, click and hold on this thing here, you can customize it even further, so you see. Also, when it comes to display, we can get 90 Hz display refresh rate as well on this tablet. So if you want to actually enable this or customize this refresh rate, so if you want the uh, tablet either smoother or longer battery life, you can simply go in the settings and then basically find your display settings here. And over here in the motion smoothness, 
we can essentially enable the 90 hertz or the standard 60 hertz obviously the 90 hertz is more smoother but the uh, yeah 60 hertz obviously will give slightly better battery life also if you go in the battery settings also we have actually a bunch of new features basically so you see first we even have battery protection here which allows us to stop charging the tablet uh, once we reach a certain percentage essentially which uh, in the long term obviously will help when it comes to battery longevity essentially also over here i suggest you to go in the charging settings and also make sure to enable the fast charging for this tablet so uh, yeah in my opinion actually the charging speed actually isn't that fast on this tablet so again make sure you have this feature enabled uh, but again so if you maybe again want to uh, trade slower charging for more battery longevity maybe even disable this so again up to you really and also as you see even in the battery information we can even see more info about the battery so perhaps if you are purchasing this tablet second hand you can simply ask the seller to go over here and tell the battery health and also the cycle count so if you see maybe a cycle count of 500 here so that means obviously that tablet is well used and you shouldn't probably purchase it also when you purchase this tablet it actually comes in two different versions uh, so either the 4 gigabyte ram memory version or also 8 gigabyte so you see i have the lowest uh, cheapest version over here so if you also have for example the 4 gigabyte version let me show you a simple trick that you can use to improve the performance significantly of your tablet so we can simply go in the device care settings here and simply click on our memory here okay and then we have this function here ram plus essentially so it can actually uh, like add extra ram to your uh, tablet so it will actually take it uh, from your internal storage obviously it's not as fast as powerful as the dedicated 4 gigabyte ram you have on the device but again for most apps it will still actually provide you a significant boost so again make sure to enable if you want extra 2 gigabytes or 4 gigabytes of ram and then also you will need to restart your tablet it will set up basically this also if you are running low on the storage on your tablet we also have even expandable memory card stored here as well so you see if i take this sim ejector tool pop it out so you see you only have space for sim card and also the memory card uh, by the sim card version of this tablet actually is a bit more expensive so if you're wondering why you do not have the sim card uh, slot so you probably haven't purchased one so you see i can actually insert micro sd memory card in this slot and then i can basically put it in my tablet here and i can very easily expand the storage as well on this tablet so yeah absolutely awesome and yeah the beauty of this tablet is we can even easily make phone calls as well from this tablet so literally use it as a phone as well so yeah absolutely awesome also obviously we can use mobile data as well from our sim card and also if you check on your phone over here you have this like tiny white line we can actually pull this out and we have this new feature here called edge panel on this device uh, so where you can actually place some uh, things that you want to quickly access or also maybe open up the notes if you click this pencil thing so you see you can also like customize for example the various things for example add something here and then yeah, once satisfied can simply go back and again this edge panel works pretty much everywhere so you see for example if i open some website here i can pull out this thing and yeah basically quickly then select something also for example we have this smart select here so essentially on your screen you can simply drag around or simply draw around something and then you can interact with the thing maybe research about it maybe uh, like copy as an image or send it to someone or do something else so yeah when it comes to features i think this tablet is absolutely loaded to the brim and finally also on this tablet we're able to launch pretty much any app or any action by simply double pressing or power button here as well so if you want to for example set the top we can simply go in the settings then go to your advanced features uh, click uh, side button click on the text here on the double press and then for example you can select from these things or also you can literally uh, select any app uh, to be launched if you double press the side button here so simply select what you want so for example we have the camera now for example so if i double press it it actually launch my camera over here so yeah 
And yeah, also when it comes to camera, especially for all these cheap tablets, I think this easily has probably one of the best like cameras basically that we can get. Also, you see, you can also like change some various modes. Unfortunately, we only get full HD resolution for the video recording here, but still for basic stuff, probably just fine. Also, you see, if you click more, you can also engage various other picture and video modes here. And yeah, overall, I think this new Samsung Galaxy Tab A11 is absolutely, absolutely amazing indeed. Not only we get top line features on this tablet, but also when it comes to build quality and finish, it looks absolutely, absolutely stunning. And out of uh, any cheap tablet I have actually used, this easily has also the best speakers I actually have heard on any tablet.